a real deep cool to open it, lock it, pull it back, and then relock and open it back up because now it's time to do a little something, something we call an unboxing. But before we get to the unboxing, how is your boy? Let me get back at you. Let me know what's been popping. I ain't been hearing from you. Why? Do you cats think that I'm that type of dude that you don't want to put a comment down, you know, whether you didn't like something, whether you liked something? Just come on, give it up, baby. It's all right. I'm not going to jump right on you. Not unless it's something I can respond to. I ain't gonna jump on you. If you don't like something I say, just go ahead and put it down there. I want that. I need to have that. You know what I mean? I need that. Are you serious? I'm not a guy who like, oh, please don't write that. I'm gonna erase it. No, 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 no. No controversy here. I'm not a polarizing figure. So come on, just put the thing down here in the box. Holla at you. You know what I'm saying? If you're feeling what I'm feeling, then you're feeling mighty fine because you just got a dog on five hour nap unanticipated. And now you're up refreshed, baby, because I put it in earlier this morning, got up around 4.15, got off at 1.45, sat around, chilled, talked to a couple people, and I decided let me get a nap. Because I, you know, I came out with the bed last night a little on the late looking at that game. So I only got like maybe, only put like five down, you know what I mean? So I had to re reconnect with that. So I got that. Now I'm all stocked up, ready to go, and that's how I do Roger Real Deep Core. Holla at your boy. What we gonna do? Open box? Unboxing? Box of llama? Box of rama? Whatever you wanna do, we're gonna do it. As long as this is what I'm getting ready to do right now. That's what we get ready to do. Holla. So look here, today, as you can't snow, I carried a bag of goodies to work. I've only missed one day because I forgot to put it in there, but under that, every day, the bag of goodies is always in the yami. You know what I'm saying? Let me just, once again, let me get the size, the bag of goodies. You know what I'm saying? Got my eyes wall juices, you know what I'm saying? And then I got them, I got them, you know, like the bag of mixed juices. You know what I mean? How did you buy it? Then I got some bond joints. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Then we got some, what's these joints right here? Then we have those independent joints I picked up from uh, from the Sniffer Palooza. Now get around to them. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? How it's the bar. Alright? Then we have a grab bag here. Uh, a lot of uh, stuff from the Sniff. You know what I mean? Some, um, you know what I mean? How it's the bar. And then we have right here, we have the Killian Food Sack. We have some men. I've been giving out a lot of samples of men because every time I have a sale, I throw in some samples. So they kind of disappear. Here's some bonds right here. Some bonbons. Uh, man, you know what I'm saying? And here's some more. Um, some of the men's. This voice dear cease keep calling me, you know what I mean? But today, but today, I decided let me throw something on that I've been thinking about, all right? One came about during the Sniffer Palooza, and that was a, a company by the name of uh, Tiziani Terenzo, Tiziani Terenzi, Tiziani Terenzi. I call him T to the two. T to the two, yo. Let me tell you about T to the two. Can't tell you nothing except for the one I checked out, and that one is called Ecstasy. Now let me tell you about Ecstasy. Ecstasy is a nice piece. Um, it, the notes in this is just like, I don't know, I, I didn't expect it, because after I put it on, that's when I went to the notes and checked it out. All right, I'm just gonna tell you what the notes. Top notes, pine, spruce, stone powder. All right, the heart is uh, incense, patchouli, patchouli rose, uh, violet. And the base is sandalwood, some amber, some cistros, or cistros, taka forest land, and some ancient wood. Now this is uh, available as a 100 ml extract perfume. And the nose behind it is Paolo Charenzi. And I met that young man while I was there, took a picture with him, uh, pretty nice guy. Let me tell you this. He said that he mentioned that he knew uh, uh, my man, uh, um, oh man, how do I forget his name? 
for Nasamato. I forgot his name. The nose, the inventor, the creator, Nasamato. And this fragrance, Ecstasy, definitely plays a part somehow in smelling like Black Afghano. Now, though you have that uh, that pine, spruce, and stone powder up top, I'm not sure what stone powder supposed to smell like. Excuse me, actually here it says, excuse me, it says pebbles. Pebbles. Um, what do I tell you? I, between the other one and this one that I reviewed, not reviewed, but you know, Water Day, to, to, to figure out which one I want to grab, because they both ran the same price. This one is very interesting, but it just smells so much like Afghano on a dry now. It reminds me that other pieces just came out. Well, it hadn't just come out, but there's another piece that has the Afghano type flow. In fact, it's even black or dark like Afghano. I forgot the name of that. But if this doesn't smell like Afghano, what I'm going to do is once I'm done, guys, I'm going to go ahead on. I'm sorry, did I say guys? Once I'm done, home slices and home girls, I'm going to go ahead on and pop that on my arm and I'm going to pop Afghano on this arm and I'm going to pop Leilati on. Let's see, see what I get between these three. Alright, but uh, yeah, you do get that, that pine and spruce on the top. You do get like this green, this weird green note on top, which is cool. You know, uh, it says, people say they smell the pine, the rose, and the incense, and the amber more than the taco bean come in, than the dark uh, forest land comes in, and they got the patchouli, and blah, 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 is what they smell next. But yeah, you smell that green pine. That, that, that is a D, it's deep. And it's all, this is almost kind of like linear. I don't really smell too much of it breaking down. Uh, at the end, it lasts long too. It's extract, uh, extract, whatever you want to put. It's, it does last long. It lasts the whole day today. I put it on, wow, let's see, I got to work at five. I think I threw it on um, uh, about seven, maybe six or seven. Yeah, yeah, something like six. We're going to say six, six thirty. I popped it on and I got off work at 145 it was still on so it, it, it lasts long I mean it lasts long so um you know it's, he's not a known name as far as I know I, I don't know I, I hadn't heard of him until I got to the uh to Oswald and met him there um but yeah uh if if, if you're looking for an alternative to Black Ab Gunner with a spin and Leilati, Leilati has green notes though, so I don't know, this may do a little bit more Leilati than it may do Afghano, uh, but nevertheless, um, yeah, check it out. If you don't have either one of those, and this is a buck 45 for the 100, you may want to jump on this, you know what I mean, if you want to get that kind of vibe. All right, now, my next Yami mean, that I threw on was the one that I really just, man, this is about Paris uh, Monte Carlo because I was about to buy the, the Oud, um, but it was really, really dry, but I was about to buy it. I was going to blind buy it from Neiman, but um, I ended up getting up uh, to uh, Men, New York, and I got a chance to smell it. It was really, really dry, so I was glad I got up there and didn't buy it. Really, really, really dry Oud. Now, they have another one out now called Boise de Oud, and uh, I haven't really, really checked it out. I have it in the bag. I haven't really, really give it away or anything but it, you know it, it's here because it's a little bit different it has a little bit more rose in it so maybe they jumping off that ooze that they had to give this ooze a little bit of oomph um but this one here that I'm looking at this essence deep patchouli been bothering me and that's because I really I'm really starting to get into patchoulis but you know most of the patchoulis I've been really getting into uh this homeboy that turned me on this dude that turned me on to um this other patchouli uh it was called it was about 1920. I think it was called Real Patchouli. And this one kind of reminds me of Real Patchouli, but this one is just a little bit sweeter. Um, so, looks like y'all are going so much. Really, I just woke up. And I want to drop this off real quick because I don't have to be waiting till 11 tomorrow, so I'm going to stay up a little bit late tonight. Can't go back to sleep now. I just got up. It's like 10.21 p.m. So, look here. That's some deep patchouli by Paris Monte Carlo for men and women. We got, uh... We, we, we had the top notes of uh, rose, geranium, middle notes of iris, base notes of cedar, guayaguil, patchouli, musk, labdanum, and cumarin. 
Well, you smell the patchouli and you smell the iris. It's like this sweet and and quiet. Let me tell you, I let I let one of my favorite noses at the job check it out. By the way, I gotta remember to bring her um a capriccio tomorrow. But anyway, uh, I let her smell it. And I let her smell both. She was like, "What is it?" She was like, uh, uh, "My man, uh, my man's joint, Sazianni's joint." You know what I mean? Ecstasy was okay. She said it was okay. But she liked the patchouli de essence. She said it smelled like a cookie. A cookie. Smells good to me. I would like to be walking around smelling like a cookie. It's on and popping. That's going to be my next piece. It's going to be from my brand new, never had in the uh, Paris, uh, like I said before. Uh, so I'm going to call men and see what they're going to charge for it. Also see they have a little bit of juice on uh, eBay. So for real, for real, I'm gonna buy where it's cheapest. You know what I mean? And, you know, I, you know, I, I try to hold allegiances to men. You know when I can. You know they really been hooking me up. You know, but I spent a lot of money up in men. And you know I kind of got, got missed out on a piece that I, a show that I wanted to really. You know, but nobody got back to me at men. And let me know that was happening. You know what I mean? You now I might not. I might not have spent a million dollars up in there, but I spent enough to tell yo, uh, you know, I know you're in Philly, but you, you know, to say you know there's a show going on here, but you may want to check it out. I had to see it through some other folk on, on, on the frag group about that. So I'm feeling some kind of way about that after I've been, you know, kind of buying stuff up there and sending people up there to purchase things. So, okay, y'all, y'all got to jump on that. You know, I, I think I'm a, kind of a value client. I think over the last couple of months, I've spent a lot of money in man. So look here, don't. You know what I mean? Keep it real. And that's for everybody that I, I patronize. You know what I mean? And that's regardless of whether I buy one thing from you or, or ten things from you. Uh, the fact of the matter is, you know, hey, if something's going on, just kick me an email or something. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let's make sure we jump on that now. Because I will come right at you on this, but I think I'm going to have to explore other options. And if it's within $10, I'll, I'll come and grab it from you. But if not, I'm going to have to grab it from somebody else. Just to kind of, you know, you know, I ain't mad at you, but hey, you know what I'm saying? Alright, now, let's keep it pushing. Um, so yes, Paris, Paris de patchouli, and I really, that's just de patchouli. And I really had, ever since I sprayed that when I was there, man, uh, it's just been like, yo, this is the one to get. And like I said, real patchouli kind of smells the same, but there's something about this one with the iris I think I, I just like a little bit more. And I've been really getting into a lot of iris since. Ever since, uh, you know, some of the, uh, um, some of the jigs kind of like a dominant type iris. Um, and then I got, uh, iris ganache, open my nose of the iris, and just recently, uh, silver iris from, um, from, uh, uh Tillier has really been opening my nose of the iris as well. You know, and though a lot of people, you know, get their iris from Dior own, you know, uh, this, these irises what I'm talking about is just, just totally different from Dior. So, um, yeah, Paris, you patchouli, the essence. Paris Monte Carlo, P-E-R-I-S. The decent house. You might want to check out some more things from it. Okay, next uh, we threw on and sprayed some from Oswald, and that is going to be Perfumum Thundra. And actually, uh, I'm not gonna say I got it from Oswald. I actually picked it up from one of the guys on the frag group. I forgot your name, sir. But thank you for sending it to me. I was like, yo, I think you want to check this out, man. You should check this out. And it did well. Um, I really smelled that today. In fact, what I did was I necked that one. I necked and risked it. And then the other two are uh, top-handed. And it really smelled pretty good. Uh, I smelled it one time before when I first got it. He sent it to me and I sprayed it. And, you know, it had like this citrus-type thing going on with it. But it had like a musk. If I'm not mistaken, the day how it really smelled. It pumped off my neck a couple times, but it was raining today, you know, so I really didn't really, I don't think I got a real good chance to pump off to me so I can really check it out, like the other two, because I had them right here, and it was just a little bit under here, and I really couldn't get it, so I should have gave that some more uh, spread on the skin action, where I really can jump on it, but actually, again, another patchouli scent, patchouli green, warm, spicy, musky, aromatic, and earthy are the accords, and uh, basically it's just Truly mint and white musk. That's it. That's all it says. But you see, I, I want a patchouli vibe today. That, that's something that's and it was by accident, totally by accident. 
you know, I, I, I didn't know the, I knew Essence Patchouli, definitely had patchouli in it, but I didn't know um, XC had really uh, that much patchouli in it, and Thunder had that much patchouli in it. So, that's what I'm going patchouli, and uh, this was pretty nice. At 240, I don't think it was nice enough. Um, I'd rather somehow find it someplace else. Just a little bit cheaper, I would probably pick it up somewhere around buck fifty, maybe a, a used bottle. Maybe I, I'll pick that up, but um, on a real deal, I'm not gonna pay two forty for it. As much as I think it is a decent fragrance, uh, it ain't gonna happen for me at two forty for hundred ml. All right, but for you guys, if you like patchouli, you know it might be something you might want to check out. For real, for real. Um, like I said, it's real simple. Uh, I didn't really smell a lot of mint, but I think the mint kind of just gave the patchouli another vibe. Uh, sort of how uh, uh, Paris Monte Carlo sweetened their patchouli to smell like a cookie, you know. And some, see, and, and, you know, sometimes I know that sometimes patchouli, depending on how it's combined with other notes, smells like gives off a, a cocoa chocolate type vibe sometimes. Like uh, for me, New Orleans, New York. So, you know, patchouli does different things, I guess, depending on how you tap it. And, uh, yeah, this, you know, it was cool. You know, um, Thunder was cool. Uh, I wish I could have smelled more mint. Maybe uh, tomorrow I'll give it a nice spray on the top of the hand when I wear in the unboxing of what I got going to pop open today. Because that's really going major tomorrow. Um, but um, yeah, so those are the three, y'all. You may want to check them out. That's up to you if you want to get into some patchoulis. You know what I mean? You need to do that. All right, now it's time for this unboxing. Boy, if you're feeling like I'm feeling, then you feel like I'm boxing. What else? Are you serious? Really? Really? Seriously? Seriously? Really? Really? Seriously? From my friends, Mr. Tyler at Barney's. I mean, I've really been giving Barney some play. You know, lately, uh, they've been supplying my uh, Byredo and Le Labo fetish. They've been jumping on that for me, so, you know, now I have all that I want from uh, Byredo. Um, thanks to Tyler, uh, he got me into that 1996 by accident. He sent that as a sample, and as everybody know that's my that's my signature piece. You know what I mean, when I want to smell different when I go out, and I definitely guarantee that nobody's wearing it and nobody's gonna be smelling like me. That is one that I can guarantee you nobody's gonna have, and that was a limited edition. I didn't realize I had paid twenty dollars more for that than I paid for. Uh, the other uh, by Rados. Nicely wrapped. You know what I mean? So we're gonna pop out the samples first. So let's pop out these samples. Thank you, Tyler, once again. You know what I mean? You get in here one day, that's what you do. You know what I mean? If it's not a weekend, you got it going on. As long as I call them, you know, before three and get everything set up, everything paid for, and whatever, you know what I mean? I know I'm gonna get it in one day. And I like that because. New York is just right there. I have no reason not to get it in one day. UPS, USPS, no matter. I should get my juice from New York, no matter where it comes from, in one day. Men, which usually one day. And the only thing I get, it takes a while to get, are my samples from Oswald. You know what I mean? They send them USPS, but I still gotta wait almost three days to get those from New York. So I guess, you know, that's the fight in New York, I mean, you know, they probably just don't care about samples. That's not 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 Oswald, but the post office. You know what I mean, I mean, we don't care about your samples, man. You get them when you get them. But the major juice comes here one day from, from Oswald. So thank you, cats. Thank Oswald. Thank men. Thank Barney's. You know what I mean? And make sure again, if you got a bit going on up there, give me a buzz, cause you know I jump in the whip or. Once I learn the train, you know I mean, how to get around on the train up there, you know, I'm, 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 I'm gonna come up there on the train because I don't have to pay for the train because I drive a train down here. So pretty much my trip to New York is free on the train. I just show my ID, bam, 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 you know, union, you know what I'm saying? Union thing, we sit together in any kind of weather. You know what I mean? So bam, I jump on that dog on set the regional rail up to Trenton then Trenton, I pick up that Yah Mean for New York. I forgot what it's called, Marta. Pick that piece up, bam, pull me into Times Square. I've done that before. 
But then after that, I don't know what to do up there, man, because unlike Philly's transportation system, you get on a sub, it's just a straight shot down to where you got to go through down Broad Street in Philly. So, I mean, New York is more intricate than that, I understand that, but, you know. And then on the L, the same thing, it's east and west in Philly. You know, it takes you from the northeast, brings you into the city, then takes you out, out to West Philly. That's what the L does. So, you know what I mean? So, you know, every transportation system is pretty simple when it comes to the rail here in Philly. Our buses are all over the place, though. You know what I mean? That's where we make our loot. On the buses. How is your boy? Except the bus stop. What? All right. My receipt. Thank you again. We'll start with the samples he sent me. And, uh... He said, man, I hope you like your samples. I'm like, yeah, well, you know, I don't know, man. I got to see. I got to see how they popping off when I when I get them. All right, so this, this says Dolce & Gabbana, which probably is the new uh, line. Dolce & Gabbana got out, um, which is uh, $215 for uh, 50 mil. The bottle is about that big. Really, really small. Let's see if I can pull that up. I don't know if they have like a Dolce and Gabbana superstar set. You know, everybody changed their name. Um, they changed the name of their premier scent. So let's see if I can find it because they have so many. Okay. I guess it's the velvet. It's the velvet uh, set. All, I guess all these are velvet. So let's see. Dolce Gabbana. I got to put it on the light, y'all. All right, this is Velvet Love, okay? Just sniffing. Just a sniffing. See if I can get something out of just sniffing on top. All right. I'm not really in particular with that, okay? Dolce and Gabbana uh, Velvet Subline. All right, so far I'm not really jumping out saying woo! I'm, looking, I'm waiting for that woo, Ric Flair factor, or that yeah, Randy Macho Man factor. I'm trying to get that, let's see. All right, all right, all right, is the, um, is a, uh, my, I don't know where I would get that from. We just call that the Mac Daddy factor. All right, all right, all right, all right. Put you out there. Yeah, that's not bad. This one is called, um, all right, let me see it. I'm trying to see it because you know it's what it is. Okay, wood. No wonder. Wood. That's that smell the eye. Look at the eye. Let's see what wood has in it. Since uh, that one was kind of eye. All right, for men and women, woody, spicy, balsamic, leather, animalic. No wonder. Um, and all we have in that is ebony wood, some benzoin, and some leather. That's it. That's all. Um, let's see. Somebody already reviewed it. And said, uh, just tested about 20 different high-end designers and velvet wood was by far the most outstanding scent. Uh, pros, uh, nice leather accord. Okay, so I can't wait to snap this on. Uh, I didn't have no cons. I like a nice leather accord blended with the wood. I'm not sure if the ebony wood alone, but the combination uh, seems fabulous. This fragrance is a uh, high potential to make someone addicted. Four thumbs up. Uh, here... Somebody said something about $475.99 for velvet wood. I don't know what that is, but that's not here. But now this is 100 mil. But um, like I said, this is, uh, I saw it at $215 at Barney's. All right? And somebody said it reminds of McGuire by Emma Collins. All right, now this one right here we have is. Uh, da, 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 da. Trying to find it. A velvet patchouli. You know I'm liking them patchoulis. The only patchouli I like, but I decided I'm not going to get a patchouli 24 by Le Labo. I'm not getting it. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 This one here, and you know, I would like to smell some more out of this line. Maybe I'll give them to send me the rest. Um, this one here with the velvet, the patchouli. Patchouli warm, spicy, earthy, amber, and balsamic. I would have to skin this definitely. I think I'll skin the wood in this. I really didn't feel love. And the only thing that's in this one is patchouli and ISOE super, it looks like. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Some kind of kibble cool though. Uh, Kefalis. Patchouli and Kefalis. That's it with this. Somebody said it reminds them of patchouli leaves by Montal. This seems amazing. However, I smell patchouli and dark chocolate on me. And as I told y'all, sometimes patchouli smells like chocolate. Depends on what you blend it with. They say I'm too selfish to put it anywhere else other than my wrist and neck. Just so I can smell it and no one else. Uh, my husband got it. He loves it on him. But even better on myself. Subtle, sensual, luxurious. I'm a, normally a floral citrus girl. But for some reason she loves this fragrance. So, again. Alright, so when I say I, right, the other two, you know. But the patchouli is uh, pretty nice. And the wood is pretty nice from that line. But once again, man, 210 for like a 50 from Dolce like that? Do they, do they have it like that? Do, do, can they get down like that? I mean, you know, I like, you know, light blue, which is the only thing I really bought from them back in the day. I don't know if they can kick this off like that, but I mean, hey, it's whatever, whatever they want to charge. I hope they don't end up by the wayside. Oh, dang, somebody have it here. Okay, somebody's selling love for 160 or best offer on um on eBay. Another one, a uh, subline, uh, is 125. Is that or best off? And let's buy it now. 50 mil. Uh, and those are only two that are 50 mil on eBay that people are jumping out of. Uh, well, somebody trying to get 350 for desert dude. Maybe because that's food and that's probably why they're trying to get that out. But uh, the two that I don't like too much or I didn't like, which was subline and love. You can grab those. 125 though. I got a feeling. I just have a feeling, you know, just like there's another one out. There's another line out by um, Oscar De La Renta. And I really like this particular fragrance. Uh, well, it's been a while since I talked about it. But for understanding that line, it's just not getting no coverage. You know what I'm saying? All right, we have some Aqua de Parma Oud again. He always sent me Aqua de Parma Oud. I told him I ain't had it. Then we have, I guess, oh, I'm getting ready to make me a five mil if this is another Colonia, and it sure enough is. So I got a couple Colonias, I'm out of mix all these, make a five mil out of them. And I got uh, a sample batch for my last person. Um, so yeah, 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 that's what that is. That's cool though, it's cool. All right, whatever you give me, cuz, what you give me. Now we have some juicy sprayed out from somewhere. This is Oud 27 from Malabo, which I'm already familiar with. Lab 18. That's from 18. I may want to look into that. And patchouli. So, you know what? I would like to get patchouli 24. I got patchouli 24. Ah, oh, I should have told my head those already. Anyway, um, yeah, yeah, that's it for the samples from my man Tyler. Thank you very much again. And Barney, thank you for your help. And contribution to the cage. Alright? I was about to talk about something else, but uh kind of slipped my mind because I keep thinking about what I'm gonna to unbox for y'all. You know what I mean? I can't wait to spray this on. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna go ahead on I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dab on them other two uh the other two pieces because they might show up on eBay for 125. I'm gonna make sure I can probably pick one of those up. The wood or the uh, patchouli. Probably the wood. Y'all ready? Unboxing. There it is. There it is. There it is. Bet 46. I first got my nose on this at the sniff again when we stopped by the Le Labo shop. And uh, I really went there to just check out the... Um, to, me and my man... Elmont went there just to look around, but I went there to check out uh, Santal 33 just to make sure that was something. It was already on my mind that I wanted it because I wanted another sandalwood. And uh, yeah, yeah, we went and checked it out. And then I got a chance to check out a few other ones. But I didn't spray too much because I was already sprayed up. I didn't get a chance to really spray too much. So I had to slip my memory. And I knew Santal 33 was going to be the guy I made, so that was no problem. But uh, 
you know, I did get a chance to spray on uh, Patchouli 24. I think way up my arm somewhere, and uh, I was hoping that would last. So when I got home, you know, I'd be able to smell it. Patchouli 24 is just really, really smoky. It doesn't even smell like patchouli. It smells like a mixture of just something real dark and patchouli, almost oody patchouli or something. And I just decided just to stay away from it. I didn't want any more dark scents since I already had a couple of dark ones, so I kind of stayed away from it. And I'm kind of definitely down there as I got uh, Mona's uh, Cure, you know, which is almost kind of on that vibe, really. All right, so that was it right there. And then of course, there's a la la bo la bottle, okay? And I don't care what people talk about the gimmick and all that stuff. They can do what they want. They can mix it in front of me, do what they want in front of me. Fine with me, as long as it's smelling good. And it does smell good. Rod Real Deep Cold, you know what I mean? Of course that's on the label, because you got that hat at, because uh, that's what I do. Rod Real Deep Cold. So Venema 46. Now, the thing about Venema 46 is, it's sweet. I didn't buy it because it was sweet. I bought it because it was different than any vetiver that I smell. And I do like my vetivers as well. Uh, especially with Iron Cray Noir. That, that's my favorite vetiver. I smell Sycamore, which smells so much like Iron Cray Noir, it wasn't even a, a consideration. And then there's another vetiver that was, uh, I smelled a great vetiver. You know what I mean? Tom Ford's contribution. I smelled the vetiver from Creed. So, so I, I went through some veterans. This is it. This is the one I decided to grab. Again, um, woody balsamic, amber, smoky, and aromatic. And that's what I like about it. It is so aromatic. Oh my gosh. It's just, I just smelled this all day. I sprayed on me and I smelled it all day. Mm. It has this animalic uh, vibe when you first spray it. And then, you know, to me, uh, I guess here they call it balsamic, like a mixture of balsamic and woody maybe and smoky, because it does have that smoky vibe like Patchouli 24 too, you know what I mean, but it also has that smoky uh, cure vibe from Pomona, you know what I mean, that dark vibe, or like Boyce uh, the Ascends, it has that, it's in there, but it has that, that, that quick funky to it as well, it's probably as much as I don't like cloves, you can kind of smell the cloves in this as well. Mark Buxton's piece, of course, uh, some people say it smells like uh, Condes Gersons. Um, uh, 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 that piece they made. Wonderwood, I think it is. Or Two Man. Because he actually uh, knows that as well. So this came out two years after he knows uh, Two Man. He knows uh, Better Than 46. And some people say that Vetiver 46, though I don't think have any Vetiver in it, does it? Let's see. I mean, you got 26 people says, you know, they would rather buy the two man because of the price, the difference in price. Of course, you can get a little bit less. Uh, it sports a code, cords of, um, it does have Vetiver in it as well, but it says leather cords as well in the, um, in the two man. But like I said, he knows both of these. Uh, I have two man. Two man is nice. But it's not this. It's not this. It's not Bet 46. Um, of course, I got it one day because they have the shop. The Labo have their shop right in Barney's. And that's how I got my first first official one, which is a Rose 31 I got in honor of my mom. So, uh, yeah, yeah, this, this, thing is, uh, this thing is pretty nice. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on top of my hand too because I do want to spray out the other ones. I'm going to put patchouli back on me again too, SSD patchouli. But yeah, yeah, this, this is it. Sweet vetiver, this is it. It's totally different vetiver, totally different vetiver. The notes in this by Martin Buxton is labdanum, Tahitian vetiver. Not Haitian, but Tahitian or Tahitian vetiver. Uh, we have pepper, guayaguas, cedar, olivinum, amber, bergamot, vanilla, and cloves. And look, we can see where it's getting the sweetness from. Probably somewhere from the amber and vanilla, maybe even the bergamot, kind of adds to some of the sweetness. You do smell the, the vetiver, and of course, you smell the pepper. Um, 
in this. You can smell the spiciness of the pepper. The guayac wood, I really can't tell because there's another fragrance with guayac wood, but it's different. If I'm supposed to pick it out from in here, I don't pick it up like I picked it up in, uh, say, Essence Patchouli. I don't pick up the, the guayac wood, but this is it. This is the better one right here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, $160, 50 mil. Y'all know about the cap, cap nice and heavy. The labels on the cap, you know what I mean? You saw the box symbol, and they put your name on it, they put your label on there. And they all go up here with other label boxes on the wall of boxes. And uh, that's it, so that's what I got for y'all, you know what I mean? So, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. A little bit of this, I gave a little of that. You know what I mean? Always gotta give you something in the middle, a little bit of rods, you know what I mean? I gotta, gotta, gotta keep it real. So again, you know what I mean? I patronize a lot of people, I spend a lot of money with a lot of people. You gotta treat me like that. Treat me special, because I think I am special, you know what I mean? There's other special people as well. But make sure you look out for Roger Real Deep Cool, you know what I'm saying? Give a brother a play, because I buy things. Holla at you. Boy, what? So we out. I'll let y'all know what's happening with the, uh, with the Dolce & Gabbana line. See what's up with that. But uh, right now, it's Patchouli D Essence, or Essence D Patchouli. That's probably gonna be the next piece. And I got a surprise coming in Friday. You'll find out when I find out. Boy, I got to go. Let's lock it back up, put it in the vault, and wait and open it up another time. Till I see you again, look here. Appreciate you stopping by, check me out. www hollowmedia.com H-O-L-L-O-M-E-D-I-A.com A preview of the CD Of course I always play Which is the Backlash Tunes I'm sorry, tracks from the Library of Flow And then we're going to have of course the compilation The Select Collection Hopefully I have all those done by July you know, have them ready, print it up, ready to sell, ready to go, ready to do the thing, and get ready to do some big things in October. I got to go. See you Friday. Willing. Let's see how it goes, all right? Stay cool. Be with it. Stay to yourself. Be true. Be you. Because if you do that, then more than likely, because people can't tell you what you should do, what if you just be... <laughs>